Hey guys, Rob and Melissa here with Flea Market Flipper. Hello. We are here to bring you this weekend's flips. It was a pretty good weekend. It was. <laughs> we had a great weekend, totaling $6,250. Very that, good. That was our weekend total. So yeah. yeah, we wanted to tell you guys what we sold. It was three items. We sold three items. We killed it. So $6,250 is what we made. I'm happy with weekends like that. For sure, especially so, since I did the books. <laughs> that's it. So without further ado, we will tell you what they are. Number one, did you write them down? I did. The first one that sold was a boiler. We sold a boiler. This thing came out of an industrial building. Um, my One of my contacts had to clean up the building. He called me. I actually bought two things from him. Um, the boiler and then another cooling, some type of cooling system for tools or something like that. Looks like a big air, air conditioning unit. That is actually our second sell. So. And not to the same person. No, they different sold, people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this, this thing, we paid $100 for the boiler. It's huge. Um, you definitely could not move this thing without a forklift. <laughs> so thank the Lord that my buddy had a forklift to get it out of the warehouse and then I had a forklift to take it off. So this wouldn't be for the average every Joe to be able to do, but we're to the level where we can use the forklift when we have to and that's what it helps. I think it weighs like 5,000 pounds. It was even tipping over my forklift a little bit. So it's a, it's a beast, but. Not supposed to tell me those things. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we bought that thing for a hundred bucks. We sold it for 2,500 bucks, sold it locally. Um, heck of a deal. Um, yeah, so that was a great flip. Uh, second one is the um, the, the cool, cooling. The cooling machine that you just talked yeah, about. Yeah, the same. I got them from the same warehouse. The guy was going out of business and had to get rid of them. So I ended up buying both of these for my buddy. Um, and he... Um, yeah, I don't, and neither one of these did I sell with them knowing that they worked. They were both working in the warehouse when they closed it down, and that's how I sold them. I said, you know, when they were unhooked, they were working, but they're being sold as is because I have no way of testing these things. So Yeah, and that's one thing great when you're doing a listing. You can say that for sure. Like, these are sold as is. You've tested them to your ability that yep. you can, yep. and then the person knows that going yep. into it. So they know they're getting a great deal yeah. on the item, but... And both of these units were hooked up when we uh, took them apart and moved them out. Uh, they were in... In production or they were in being used in operation um, before I bought them and took them out but I just never physically saw them work so that's kind of what I, how I listed them and sold them so but the second one was some type of cooling machine it looks like a big air conditioning unit it would run water through it and cycle water through um, and keep it at like 40 degrees so like I said I don't really know what they use it for I don't know that much about it all I did was find the specs on it when I found the name and the model number found out that they're super expensive but that one we ended up paying $400 for it had a lot yeah. higher resale value than the boiler and I I thought I would have made a lot more money on it, but um, I lowered the price a couple times, and then finally we ended up um, sold that one on eBay. I sold it for two twenty two fifty. Yeah, two thousand two hundred fifty dollars is what we sold that one for. So yeah. we turned four hundred dollars is what we paid. Twenty two fifty is what we ended up selling it for. So it's a little higher investment than you normally make. It is. But it is. But for that return. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. So we made good money on it. So yeah. that's we're gonna it. ship that one out freight. Yep. So that one's going out freight. That one is getting packaged actually tomorrow and uh, go, taking that to the freight company and dropping that thing off so and how much do you estimate for shipping that one won't be too bad um i would estimate under 200 bucks i'd say 150 to 200 um yeah and then our third sale is the ice merchandiser the ice merchandiser i actually bought three of these i don't remember if i did a video i think i did i bought three of these from my buddy my contact at the flea market <clears throat> excuse me he I came in bought one. I didn't know you bought three. no the three <laughs> in the storage so we bought three of them he got them for me sold them to me for a hundred dollars a piece i paid 300 bucks for three of them uh this is the first of them that we have sold um paid a hundred dollars and sold this one for 1500 dollars on ebay uh with free shipping so for some reason i'm trying a, a little bit different thing on ebay uh some of the larger items i'm trying to suck people into just finding the item, seeing that it has free shipping, and then jumping on and, and, um, and buying it uh, without even you know any questions asked or anything like that, knowing that they can get it shipped directly to them. So A lot of people won't ship the big stuff, and we don't mind doing it. So no. 
Free and shipping is kind yeah, of it. <laughs> I, I, I think I already did the estimate on this one. It was going to be right at 200 bucks to ship this thing to, and this one's going to California. So it's going to the other side of the world from us pretty much. Well, uh, you Country. know, the other side of the U.S. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It, it's going pretty far. So, um, yeah, at 200 bucks. We had 100 bucks into it. Um, so $300 total and made 1500 bucks. So a heck of a deal. It was a, uh, it was a great flip. Happy with those. The other two, um, ice merchandisers that I have are actually the higher dollar ones. This was the cheapest one. I got rid of this one first to, you know, recoup my investment into it. Um, and now these other ones, um, will end up selling and hopefully making quite a bit more money on them. Are those other ones listed yet? No. Gotta get those babies listed. So. <laughs> get them sold. That's it. But that is what we got going on. So that was our high. weekend. Um, I think that was easy. It might have even been in 24 hours. It was really close to yeah. sell those three things in 24 hours. We did. Uh, it was a pretty sweet deal. So, But over the last weekend, that's what we did. So, Yeah. No, I was just going to say they're all high profit and all larger items. I mean, we do a little bit range of yeah. smaller to larger. We tend to go towards the larger stuff. Um, I think a lot of people just don't ship freight, and so that gives us a huge piece to ship freight. Yep. Um, so. And both of the other two, the boiler was the only one that you really needed the forklift for. If you had a dolly um, for the other two that we sold, um, you could do it with you know one or two guys. You could, uh, no, I'd say two, two to three guys. Uh, you could pick it up, put it on a pallet, uh, or you know, tip it up, put a pallet on it, and put it back into place, and then be able to move it around with a dolly. You actually could do that. Yeah. So that was something that these other two people could do them without forklifts, without big equipment. Yeah, you don't definitely don't always need it whenever no. you're doing your. Stuff. And I use it as least as possible, like the ice yeah. merchandiser that's over at my storage. Um, we you pulled, don't have a forklift. No, over we there, pulled so. that one off the trailer. No forklift. Um, I'll put it up on the same way I just told you. I'll put it up on a pallet. I'll tip it back, slide the pallet up underneath it get the edge of it up, slide it on, um, get it centered on the pallet, strap it down, and then I'll tip the whole thing over and slide it up into my trailer. Um, so yeah, the, definitely there's there's ways to do it and you don't have to have big equipment to do it. So um, yeah, yeah, that's that's sweet knowing that you guys are able to, you know, we don't want to do all the stuff that you guys can't do anything with because we have the tools to do it. You guys can do all the stuff that we're doing because a lot of it, we are not using our big equipment. Some of it we are, um, but the majority of it, yeah, we'll tell you when we lot. do it. No. Yeah. The Harley yeah. sign, like that new, that <laughs> yeah, Harley sign we recently <laughs> got, you can't do that without a forklift. So um, you probably could. You probably do it with like five or six guys, but that's not very... Um, easy to, to handle so the forklift definitely helps yeah for sure but, but you don't need it so no. um yeah great high profit items three items to tip the scales over six grand um yeah great weekend we're super stoked it was awesome yeah so can't wait till next weekend that's it or this week yep <laughs> so we'll keep you guys posted thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon